Good evening, everybody. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's by far the most dynamic audience I've ever had anywhere in the world. Somebody was telling me, are you nervous? And I said, uh, yes. I wasn't nervous at the UN, but today, looking at the energy, I am a little nervous. I hope you all enjoy what I have for you. It's something different. It's something new that I'm doing. And uh, hopefully, at the end of the evening, we would have something very spectacular to show to the world. I guess you would have guessed by now who I'm going to be speaking about. This picture is on the screen. You may be recognizing the last picture on the right-hand side, but the earlier two pictures are from his younger days. What I'm going to share with you now is what you're not going to see in the film. I'm going to share with you information of what he did when he was of your age from the age of 16 to 21. He said, I must have taken about six lessons in three weeks, but it was beyond me to achieve anything like rhythmic motion. I could not follow the piano and hence found it impossible to keep time. 32 years. The world recognized Gandhi a long time ago. We discussed that, I showed you some visuals relating to that earlier on. But what's interesting is, it continues to find him. Do you know where the biggest march in the name of Gandhi happens every year? this. I'm told that you've been discussing this over the last couple of days. Do you think this movement has any connection with Gandhi? Yes? What if I told you that the country where this was happening has a very, very long association with Gandhi? This is a newspaper from Cairo from 1930, 21st April, front page, and it's got the photograph of Mahatma Gandhi on it. What's even more interesting is I have the newspaper here with me. Come down, take a look. When I found this newspaper, I was so excited just proved that he was a world phenomenon. Do you recognize the two people? Do you think they can have anything in common? And can they be associated with Gandhi? He lives within us even today. He's all around us. Satyagraha. How many people over here know the meaning of Satyagraha? truth force. What you see over here is an opera. An opera by Philip Glass. It's an opera on Gandhiji, of course, but it is written in Sanskrit. seditions, protectors of animals. This is a real bikers group out of North America. They call bikers against animal cruelty. They have bonded since 2007. And on the website, they have a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Inspiration 
for a biker's gang from Mahatma Gandhi, again 10,000 miles away. Are you all inspired? Do all of you want to do something very different tonight? When I was given this opportunity to come up here and speak, I said, I want to make a difference. I want to do something that we can create over here, which will announce to the world that Gandhi has arrived in this generation. So what I would like you all to do is come down over here All 700 to 800 of you, I want you to come down here and sign your name with a paint pen that we have.